so today we're doing a comparison video the Ruger Mark IV against the Brown and Buck Mark both in 177 both brake barrel pistols so these are both brake barrel designs like so um, we're just gonna run through the little features and then give them a test on what they can do each what feels better like the design uh, how it functions stuff like that you know and then uh, hopefully you find it entertaining well today is the buck mark auto safety um, I yeah. find that a bit stiff to operate once it's cocked um, right I did have a little go on your Ruger and I think the safety on that is easier but you'll find out because you shot the buck mark for no. a while so I'll get the buck, buck mark quick go mate um, I'm just gonna I'd have said the size. this is a lot easier to cock straight off um, maybe because the barrel is slightly longer as well but there is a bit of a grit in there so but that's just brand new gun so yeah I think I could do it with strip down bars and grease them up so what I'm going to do just going to blow them up I'm both auto safety so as soon as the cocks the safety is put on which locks the triggers in um, so you can't pull it now we are going to power test these guns um, in a little while yeah. just to show you the comparison so, um, but what I would say is that they're yeah. quite low powered that and safety is a bit that is, it's horrible isn't it? and I tried three yeah. and a half and, and that's a, it's a lot smaller as well like it's more pronounced outwards but you've got a longer bar on this one I thought your Ruger safety felt a lot better yeah um, so let's get the old safety off get the rest of the the sound as well See what the triggers are like. Your triggers are a lot lighter by your first feel, but that gun is a lot older. This is brand new. And bear in mind, I stripped that down and greased it all up. And so, yeah. Actually, the tr this this it's a bit quieter. Yeah, yeah, very good. This trigger is a lot. Um, this is breaking in quite quickly. Actually, yeah. that's getting a lot better the more we shoot it, so put safeties on there. And hold them up side by side as you think can see the difference in the barrel length. So I was surprised oh, so that we got were different. Let me zoom in. They are yeah. they're roughly the same more thickness. The um you just got a bigger wider full round grip but you can get those type of grips for this um, where you got your, your finger grooves in. Also got a um, piggy rail on the back of that Yeah, you not got on your, not on your Ruger. Because this is this was probably designed as a target pistol, from what I know. Um, I don't know if that's the same about the buck mark. Well, that was just their version of a little twenty two pistol. Well, the same price, um, round about. Yeah, but yeah. I think you can get original buck mark. Never came with these. This is like a tactical version. Right. A tactical version. Yeah. Um, and this is more the traditional yeah. style. Uh, barrel is slightly well. If you put it where they break, you can see yeah. an extra inch on the buck mark. Yeah, might give it a little bit more velocity, but if you um, we'll find out in a minute when we do a power test. Uh, I think not, because you look into. The, don't worry, uh, they're not loaded. Just a recess. Yeah. That's the barrel's yeah, recessed yeah, in, whereas so flush with mine. That's just the shroud. So it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely better on the Ruger. Yeah. Um, well, it depends. It's like if I mean, it's just that end post on the buck mark is black. You yeah, that's hard to see. That's so just I mean. old school iron sights yeah. versus new school iron sights. I like new school, I must say. It just depends. But I am a blind yeah. bat. Yeah, I find rockets a thousand times better than a. But that buck mark is really made yeah. for having. A, I did have a red dot on it when you sold it to me. Yeah, and that was really good, and I nicked it on another gun. And then um, it's busted. Yeah, that yeah, the, the switch is. It still sl like works slowly, but the dart is a bit. Yeah. You know. So overall, so summary days. They um, are pretty similar. Like you got. I wouldn't say there's a best either, would you? They're different, aren't no. they? No, that's that's what I mean. That's why. Like I could have got another one of these. That's cheaper. Um, I've had one before. I know that's all right. So to do the darts with, because that's basically why we've got these guns in the first place. Because um, we got, we didn't want to destroy a nice gun and we didn't have really anything in 177 either so you got this for a good price I got this for a pretty good price so um, yeah 
it's all good. So what we're going to do now is do some velocity test. Oh, the old crony. Oh, it does. You flip the crony on. So I think that's all set up still. Same weight and everything. Um, I'll zoom in on it. Yeah. I think just a couple of shots each will do on this. Um, Start with the old buckaroo. Right, I'm zoomed in. So, pack my first. Yep. Good there? Yep. 142. Four, two. Which I think foot pound that is. Yeah. Look one more and then we'll. Uh, Isn't that where the highest one out of mine come out of that three? I did. Yeah. 142. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what I. Well, oh, I forgot to say they're both made by Umarex, I think. So, uh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if I the exact same gun just in a different skin. 146. So yours is slightly more consistent in the 140s, where mine like to sit more in the 130s from what I've seen of it anyway. Again, hardly used, yeah. um, not not to, not what's that to the bug mark up as such, but what I would tell anyone, don't bother trying to increase the power on these guns, that's next to impossible. The stroke of the piston is so small, you try packing out the spring and stuff, and that just don't work. Right. Ready? Yep. 141. One. Yeah. It's up there. Look. Yeah. Right, the velocity is round two, 280 as well. That's I just realised my fence has got to be shot to hell, despite the car ball stopping the pingbacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was, we'll make this the last one. Fence, damn. You ready? Yep. 132. So that's basically round plate where it was. Yeah. Ten, 10 feet second velocity drop. So I think the main difference is I think this barrel's worn in a lot better than this brand new. So I think that's going to make up for your velocity changes. There could be a little bit of manufacturing grit in here because this has been taken apart and greased up and given the once over so that could be the difference but yeah this this kicks a little bit more than this one um, but yeah so all we'll do we're going to review some darts we've got for a dartboard that we can fire out of these things and then we'll probably have a game so uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time